let me show you some pictures of Blairsville. All right. And so, like I said, Nick found this just calling. You guys know that, um, you know, I have, or if you don't know, then you'll know now is that we, I have a team of virtual assistants that do nothing but just call storage facilities and ask them if they'd like an offer, not if they want to sell, but if they want an offer. Right. And we've done fit. We've, We've done $60 million in offers in the last couple of months. Sorry, I just kicked this. But $60 million in offers in the last couple of months. And um, and I'm slowly seeing like more and more, uh, like we're doing, like we just put in like 10 offers last week. So I'm seeing more and more people want offers. And actually more and more people are open to the prices that we're doing. Cause we're sticking to, we're sticking to our guns. We're seven and eight caps is where we're at. Okay, like we're, if it's a tertiary market, it's an eight cap. If it's a secondary market, it's a seven cap. And if it's like, secondary but like more populated we can maybe do a six cap like a big secondary market like a big secondary market maybe a six cap but mostly like in texas in texas sometimes we'll do six caps because it's a little bit more expensive in texas but actually we're really sticking to our guns it's really seven and eight caps and every facility that we've gotten under contract in the last you know couple months have all been seven and eight caps so a lot of people i see a lot of posts about the market is horrible Nobody wants to sell, but the truth is, is that um, first of all, it's just another, it's just a numbers game. So you ask yourself, how many offers have I put in? For every 50 offers that you put in, one is gonna wanna sell. Just think about that. For every 50 offers that you put in, one is gonna wanna sell. That's how the market is, I'm telling you. That's how the market is. So you can't just like put in one offer and then get upset because you didn't get it. All right. You have to become like an offering machine because, um, you know, the sellers are, you know, the sellers are at a point where, you know, they just still don't want to come down to, you know, a lot of times, you know, so you have to find those, you have to find the sellers that want to work with you. You know, I have a student right now under contract with the facility and um, it's an older guy, also health problems. And, uh, and he was adamant about the price, adamant. He wanted 300 grand. It was like 60 units for 300 grand. So it's, it's not a bad price, actually. I mean, he's producing like, you know, I don't know, a good amount of money. I can't remember what. But um, we ran the numbers. But then he also wants to own or finance. And, uh, you know, so we're seeing a lot of owners that are open to owner financing. Maybe they want just a little bit more money than you're, you know, than you run the numbers for. But in the end, come on, what's like 20 grand or something, you know, especially on these little tiny facilities, you know. So we have one guy that we put an offer in for 370 and he wants 400,000, but he will own or finance. All right. And we put an offer in for 370. I mean, would you do that deal? I don't do that deal. I already told, I already told, uh, you know, my students, like, you got to do this deal. You know, it's a great deal. You know, owner finance at like, you know, four or 5% interest. It's like, did you see the interest rates? It's like 7.25%. Like SBA is 7.25%. So if you're not running your numbers, if you're not running your numbers at 7.25% interest and 25% down, then by the time you close, that deal is not going to work, right? So just keep that in mind as well, too. And so you just have to start running your numbers. But so, but the owner was willing to own or finance at 7% interest. No, I'm sorry, 6% interest is what he said. He went $300,000 down at 6%. We typically offer 4 and 5% interest rates when we do offers. And I'll show you that in the deal. But he was like, no, he's like, if I'm going to own or finance, I want 6% interest. It's like... She was like, I was like, it's like a couple thousand dollars. Are you willing to pay a couple extra thousand dollars for this deal? And she's like, yes, I'm totally willing. And I was like, I think that's a great decision, you know? So you don't want to get too picky, you know? And the numbers are still going to, you know, turn out, you know, good. So, because we always shoot for 10% cash on cash return. She was like well above 10% cash on cash return. Okay. So yeah, so we've got this one in Blairsville now. This is the first facility in our fund, right? In the 506C fund that we have. And uh, it's a good one. Now I'm like sharing this fund with my investors. So I'm giving up 
75% of this deal and all of the all of the deals that we find for the fund, I'm giving up 75% of the deal and only getting 25% of the deal. The question I have for you guys is, would you do that? Would you do a 25-75 split with investors, you know, uh, just so you can get a deal done? Well, the answer really should just be yes, you know, because, um, you know, especially if you don't have a lot of money, right, to get your foot into the door and get going, you know, you know, what's the big deal? You're still going to be making money. I'll make 25% off of, you know, whatever we buy. I'm guessing we're going to buy five or six different facilities at like, you know, $6 million, $7 million, and then take the double the value of that property and double, double the values of those properties, at least minimal, right? So I'll get 25% of that is what I'm going to get. And I'm giving up 